Pirate Life post match here with Lockie Jones. Lockie, happy birthday. You can't get much better than that, does it? No, nah, it's um, couldn't ask for anything better. Um, obviously, the boys are pretty good coming in first game, um, and yeah, probably one of the biggest days I've had in my life. Um, and yeah, couldn't have gone any better. So very pleased. Talk us through the day. So obviously, mum and dad were in the rooms before the game. You got a massive cheer when you came on the ground. How long did it take you to settle the nerves out there? Um, surprisingly quicker than what I thought. Um, yeah, I think it was the first couple of contests. So 15 minutes in, and um, yeah, felt felt like I was in the game a little bit. And yeah, obviously it's the start of hopefully a, a career and um, just get better as we go. Last time you were here, you were playing a SANFL Grand Final. Now you're back here playing against the reigning Premiers and you're up on Dustin Martin pretty much straight away. Did, did you have to pinch yourself a little bit when you're out there? Yeah, I've, um, I've been pinching myself all day, um, just the fact of playing the reigning Premiers itself. And then, yeah, to, to actually stand next to Dusty and um, a few of the other boys there, it's yeah, pretty surreal. And um, Yeah, I guess that every team's got those players, but yeah, tonight was definitely pretty special. It's probably the definition of an arm wrestle out there. We'd score, they'd score. Richmond kept coming with pressure. What was the message from Ken heading into that final term and how did you guys keep the Tigers at bay? I think we just had to keep the pressure up. Um, the boys did an excellent job of that for the first three quarters and um, yeah, obviously missed a few scoring opportunities. But um, yeah, I guess, I guess that's Port Power footy. We love the pressure and um, yeah, love an arm wrestle and was lucky enough to get away at the end of the day with, with the win. So very nice. What was the directive from Ken to yourself before the game? Just just be normal, um, just play how I play, um, don't overthink it. So it was pretty relaxed and yeah, coming to the game with a little bit of reassurance um, of how I could play and yeah, felt like I, I didn't have a too bad start. And that goal from Robbie Gray right at the end put us back in the lead. What do you think when he took that mark? Uh, he's going back and kicking it. Um, Robbie's obviously a big time player and um, loves those sort of situations and yeah, I, I didn't, don't think too many boys had a lot of doubt. and. Um, yeah, like I said, we had some scoring opportunities early, but yeah, Robbie's one that you know practices that stuff every day at training, and yeah, it shows. A final one, just as a back six there, you guys were absorbing a huge amount of pressure in those dying minutes. Dan Houston came back and, and took the mark. How are you guys working with that constant f uh, wave of b uh, balls coming forward from the Tigers? Yeah, I think um, you know, I handle the pressure pretty well. Um, yeah, obviously we probably expected that from a, a like a branding premium side and. Um, yeah, like I said, handle it pretty well and I think the boys, you know, at training we work on that a lot and our, our re-entry resilience and um, yeah, it goes to show that, you know, we can hold up against a, a good side and um, yeah, can't wait to go forward and, and keep playing. Thanks, Lockie. Hopefully the start of a long career and well done tonight. Cheers, appreciate it.